I'm Barney Dorman from The Chimney Company and today I'm going to show you how to do a smoke test. So once you've installed an appliance, whether you're a gas safe engineer or a heat ass engineer, you would need to test the flue to make sure that what you've installed is working properly or if you've lined the chimney to make sure there's no leaks. So you start off with a propane heater just to warm the flue because once the flue is warm, it's going to draw properly. So we'll show you how that works. Using a propane heater inside needs to be done with caution. Obviously your gas safe and heat ass engineer will be experienced in this. So first of all, what you do is just turn the, the heater on, just so a tiny bit is coming out, then spark the appliance. You'll see a small flame. Open the door, obviously be mindful of where you're pointing this. Open the door and simply put into the stove and to warm the flue up. Now we've got this on a low flame to start with, so I'm just going to turn it up so that we speed up the warming of the flue. And just simply hold in place for about two to three minutes and what you'll find is that the smoke test will go a lot better and will actually escape up the flue because a cold flue won't allow the smoke to travel up it. This is the whole purpose of this process, to warm the flue. Now if you don't have a propane heater and you want to test the appliance without it, just use a decent quality fire lighter along with some kindling that's been properly dried. And what this will do is to warm the flue before you put your smoke pellet into there, which will then ensure that the smoke goes up the chimney and doesn't come into the room. So we start off with the kindling. You can light this with a lighter or matches, doesn't make a difference. You can also use any type of decent quality fire lighter. It doesn't have to be a fire lighter that's been recycled like this one. So you place your fire lighter into the middle of the stove, shortly followed by bits of kindling. Now we, we have used a propane heater as well, so the flue is really warm, but we prefer to use the propane heater and then kindling as well, just to ensure that when the actual smoke test is in there, it's gonna go all the way up the chimney rather than spilling into the room. Now, if you're fitting a stove in the summer, warm weather can also stop the smoke drawing up the chimney. Because it's a heavier, denser air, you need to also heat the flue even in the summer to ensure that that smoke test is gonna go up the chimney and not into the room. Now, once you've put your kindling in, and it's setting on fire, just close the door momentarily to allow more air to suck into the stove. As you'll notice, the stove door isn't closed properly. I've done this on purpose, the reason being is that we want as much air to suck into the stove to ignite the kindling so that we warm the flue even more before we put in our smoke test. There's two types of smoke pellets, a grey one and an orange one. We're using a grey one at the moment but if it was a cloudy day, you want to use the orange smoke pellet just so you can see it better up in the sky for the contrast. So we're gonna go ahead and light this gray one and place it into the stove. So what we're testing here is to make sure there's no smoke coming out around the flue pipe or around the register plate inside and on inspection, as a visual, we can see that nothing's coming out of anywhere around the stove. And if I look up, we can see that there's a completely tight seal, which is what we want to see. The other situation we'd need to do a smoke test is if you're hoping to reinstate a fireplace like we've got here. So part of the process of doing a smoke test on a chimney like this is to also inspect in the loft space and any bedrooms to see if there's any smoke that's come in. If you see any smoke coming around skirting or in these spaces, then that also means the chimney has failed and you need to line the chimney properly. My colleague's gonna take over now, who's gonna first warm the flue and then light the smoke test. And I'm gonna get up on the roof and see if we can see any smoke coming out from where it shouldn't. Smoke tests um, can come in two forms, gray and orange. Orange, as you can see now, is uh, so that on a gray day like we've got today, that from ground floor level, you can see obviously orange contrasting against the grey and at the moment this chimney pot is leaking from two pots which means the chimney has failed officially. It means that smoke is travelling through mid feathers 
which separate the flues and is coming out of a second pot. So these chimneys need to be lined. As you can see here as well, we've got smoke leaking out through the mortar joints. This also highlights that the chimney is leaking and needs to be lined to ensure that the flue gases don't travel into any of the loft space, bedrooms, and to rectify that, you need to use a lining system to fix that. And that's how to do a smoke test. <laughs>